Meetings with Putin and allegations over Russian infiltration have been in the spotlight this week, but immigration advocates don't want you to forget about the situation on the border. Here's Adam Longo with tonight's Verify. Hi, Leslie. With false information continuing to spread, our Verify team promises to keep you informed. Now, people on social media are confused about just how many children remain separated from their families. Some say 3,000, others say just thousands. Now, a California senator threw out this number on Tuesday. So let's talk about the facts and where we are right now. There are still, as of today, nearly 2,600 children who are uh, separated from their parents, who have been torn from their parents. That video was watched almost 200,000 times. But is that 2,600 number accurate? So our researchers found this testimony from an HHS official in a July 13th court filing. The official said 2,551 kids, ages five and up, remain in HHS care and custody. So our Verify researchers checked with Health and Human Services to find out if that week old stat is still relevant. And they confirm, yeah, it is. So we can verify when you round up. Harris's claim that nearly 2,600 immigrant children remain separated is, in fact, true. Now, the government is facing a July 26 deadline. That's just coming up next week in regards to reuniting the kids in HHS custody with their parents. Some people, though, are questioning Homeland Security as to whether or not they'll actually be able to pull it off. And if they don't, what would actually happen? They don't have much time to do it, that's for sure. Nope, not at all. all. Right. Remember, the Verify team is here to help. You see something questionable? Send it to us. We're here to hook you up. I'm on Facebook and Twitter at Adam Longo TV. You can also email the entire research team, verify at WUSA9.com.